tropics now. Chief Meteorologist Margaret Orr is here, and we are approaching the peak of this hurricane season. That's right, and it's also a big day in history. What we can do is look back to 1900. That was the hurricane of 1900 that hit Galveston. As many as six to 12,000 people died. It's estimated that it was a Category 4 hurricane. I have a personal relationship with this hurricane. In fact, my great grandmother was tied to a tree just inland from Galveston. She was nine months pregnant. She survived and gave birth to my grandfather. So Galveston, the hurricane of 1900, very important in my family history. And then we can look back. This is September 8, 1965, Betsy. Betsy was rapidly approaching. It's estimated at this point that the winds were as high as 155 miles per hour. The pressure dropped to 941 millibars. Here is the track from the National Hurricane Center. The truth is that track is not right. It actually moved right over the city. I stood in the eye of the hurricane as a child with my father, talked to numerous people who also stood in the eye of Hurricane Betsy. And then as we go to Wednesday, that's September 10th, it's the most active day in hurricane history. But as we look at what's happening now, there's actually not that much. We've got an upper level low that's over the Bahamas. That doesn't develop. And then we've got this system that's moved off the coast of Africa, 30% chance tropical development in 48 hours. It does appear as though it's getting a cluster of storms going. You look for that. It is moving to the west northwest at 15. The global forecast model takes it to the west turns it a little bit to the north. We've got a frontal boundary that's moving off the east coast. Hopefully that will pick it up and turn it to the north. Other models tend to agree with it, but I got to tell you, until there is a closed low-level circulation, hurricane models generally do not do that. Well, so far we have had three hurricanes and one storm. The next storm's name would be Edward. That's a quick look at the tropics.